One, two, three. No! No! <laughs> no! No! I've been a magician for eight years now, and I'm gonna be reacting to Patrick Goon's round two on AGT. Alrighty, let's go. Terry, so good to see you again. Good to see you. Do you mind if I borrow your jacket for a second? Oh, no problem. As you already know, I'm a magician. But I know you have a special magical power too, right? All right. Can you show them your little power packs? Oh, yeah, there you go. Hold on, let me see you. Yeah! Now, it is kind of fun that he's using his jacket because that normally doesn't happen on this frame, Or really, four people any magic. changed my life. Simon, Heidi, Sophia, and Howie. And of course, Terry. I haven't forgot about you. Thank you. I'm going to leave this here just a minute. As you can see on the table, we have two deck of cards. I like how it's covered up. Red. I'm wondering. And blue. This could go anywhere. I say take one away. Watch closely. Comes right yeah. back. Isn't that strange? It's almost like deja vu. I'll do it one more time in case you missed it. Watch closely. <laughs> that is a marketed effect. To, like that's, I don't believe it's his own. But it is still freaking As you gorgeous. remember from my last performance. And super clean as well. Four judges have signed four aces, and I kept them in this envelope since then. Howie, Sophia, Heidi, and of course, Simon. Today, I'm going to show you a modern twist on the classic of magic. It all begins okay. with three cards on each aces. Except for I feel like there's a fourth one underneath Sophia, the ace of spades, but and of course, we'll let that go Heidi. for now. Now watch very closely. The first one. Gone. One, two, three. No! No! <laughs> That was the cleanest frick I've ever seen. <laughs> Y'all saw that too? Oh, no, no, no. What the frick were we winding this? Right, 136, on let's see this. Okay, so the ace is still there. Y'all see. Sophia? And of course, Heidi. Now watch very closely. Okay, the, the ace is one. still there. Ace is still there. Cards come back down. Still there. Gone. One, two. So unless it's attached to the freaking five of spades or something, that makes absolutely no sense. Sophia's next. Because it's not time. like he lapped it. You can see the moment. Yep, again, rub it up vanish to keep it on the top. Happens in that the has air. to be like attached to that top card, so in that case, wow. like the three of spades. There's... Heidi, I'll leave it to face up so you can If you want to learn exactly to rub it up vanish, I have taught that here. I'll leave it, it in the description so you can... One, Frick, two, no. Frick, no. <laughs> All we could have been a friend, Jack. Yeah. Have now joined. Simon. Now, I didn't see this part coming. But as I mentioned before, a picture is worth a thousand words. Watch closely. That's one. That's two. Oh, that's hold three, up. And that's four of the judges right here. He best to not move that jacket. But either judges. He'd better that not move. One thing. No. No. Dang it! Frick! Frick you, Patrick Cohn. Frick you! Okay. Let's... Let's just... Let's put a, put a hold on this mess. Frick you. Frick. You. That's... Mm, that ain't right.
Uh, here's the problem I have with this, okay? Here's the problem. Unless you literally have three sets of e you have to have like the ace of spades three times. The ace of, all, like all you have to have 12 cards of these four aces. Now, granted, that could be done because you've had them the whole time and it's not like they re-signed four new aces, right? So, I'm wondering like did you have them copied during the last bit so you're just like, well, I already have these three aces, these four aces, so I'm just gonna have uh, someone who's really good at duping signatures or something go through and dupe all four of these signatures another two times. Now I can now have enough to have the main ones that can then get attached to the top. The next ones, which I can then hide under the ace of spades to have the reveal, which then don't, which then turn into the ones that were on the board, and then and the third, I don't even, how do you call a set of four? Sure, we're gonna go with that. I'm like, you have a set, a triad, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what you're going to call four, but then you have these four that are currently on the freaking screen on the board that were under the thing. Like, I don't mind, the, like, the switch. <laughs> I've been a magician for eight years, and this still doesn't make sense to me. This is stupid. Patrick Coon, I hate you. We could have been friends before this, and now, not anymore. All right, let's play this stupid thing. All four cars perfectly framed. That Hmm. I get Terry, it, you have money. Throw away I'm the box. Missing yours. So would you do me a favor? I would love to have your autograph. Okay. No Please, just touch one. Just touch Classic one. Classic force. This one. Oops. This one, I'll show it to the camera so we can see it. Four of clubs. Okay. Do you mind? Sign your name nice and big. Or you can draw something small too so we know that this four of clubs it's the only card that exists See, in this world. Now that he didn't say with the there first four aces. Awesome, I love the little heart there you got. Uh-huh. Jesus, dude. camera beast. one more time so we all can see this. Now watch closely. I want you to push the card in. Take the cards. Push in all the way. Take the cards. Okay. And keep it a nice mix for me. All right. Oh, that card ain't in there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all four aces sign and frame. And Terry, your card... It's lost and shuffled. And I mean, yes? Yes. Look, I'm going to take this up. Please join me upstage. Okay. I'm going to take the cards. I want you to hold the frame just like okay. that. Now focus on your like card. His left hand definitely went on the carry. back side before Watch he closely. came up to the top to One, hold the thing. One, two, three. One card right there. Terry, is that stupid. your signature? That's, That's stupid. Signature. Can you take your card out? Is it really inside the glass? It's in the glass! Perfectly framed. <laughs> and now, that's the picture worth framing for. Thank you so much. Whoa! That's... Patrick Coon! Patrick... Alright. That's freaking cool. Look. Look. The plot of it... What... And I've seen better, to be told. Now, when it comes to the actual magic side of it, when it comes to the story side of it, right? His your slight his lights were just on point, really. He did have a couple of market effects that weren't his, but that didn't really bother me because just about every magician who's ever gone on AGT has done that. Like, rarely, unless you're going on like Penn and Teller or something, are you going to be creating an entire set of your own effects, right? Even Shinlin when he won it, and Matt Franco when he won it. Both of them are using other people's effects, and like, right? It just it just is what it is. So I'm not really bothered by that. There were some ones that I was like, like even just like um, I cannot remember the name of it but when he pulled the box out of the second one. And he did that multiple times. Again, really fun way to open it. Great attention getter. Still don't know how he vanished those first three aces to get them under the ace of spades. Granted, he must have had like extras. Holy crap! Yeah, you know, I know I've already said that I've been a magician for a long time now. And for the most part, for magicians, I don't actually hate them. Right? I'm like, I'm like, oh, you got me. Good job. Um, screw you, right? Here's the problem. I know that I've been a magician for eight years, and that's still not a long time in the magic industry. Um... And I still feel like a complete and utter noob 
I feel like literally I've been doing this since I was 13 and I'm about in a couple months I'm turning 21 and I still feel like I might as well have never heard of a cherry casino deck or the fact that I don't know how to do a double lift like basic crap you make me you make me feel like I've went from here and I'm just like yes I know nothing and it's stupid because your slides were so clean like you never lapped anything you're like even when you loaded it up four clubs like it was it was all so clean frick okay well look Patrick well freaking done if you guys want to see the first one I'll have it up here in just a second but make sure to let me know if there's any specific videos on reactions on crap that people screw with your head on if you have a specific one that you guys just want to say Elijah screw you we don't like you anymore um, let's just all hurt Elijah's head now because we don't like him so we're just gonna give him a massive headache on the day that he has to be at work at 8 in the morning so yay um, yeah wow I'm gonna go to take a Tylenol and a leave and another Tylenol and a bottle of a leave. Um, that's a joke. I'm just kidding. I do have a massive headache now from all of that crap that he just did in my head. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. You can check out the video of my, the audition that Patrick Coon did. I reacted to that already. And you can check out another video of mine there. So please make sure to subscribe if you guys did like the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off.